I had the incredibly good fortune of performing over a two decade period with various permutations of the Tokyo String Quartet and a lot in their last 10 years. So I played a lot with these incredible musicians and I happened to be, I don't think this was by design, the last pianist to perform uh, in a regular concert series with the Tokyo String Quartet in their last season. And we played in Calgary and there were two dressing rooms backstage. Uh, and uh, Kikwe and Kazu ended up very naturally going into one dressing room and Martin Clive and I were in the other. Clive and I had, uh, with, with the impending retirement of our two uh, Japanese colleagues in the group, we had been sort of trying to figure out in w which direction we would move. They were starting to have a conversation about what they would do musically after the Tokyo String Quartet. And this idea of a trio, in, to my perspective, just very naturally emerged from this conversation. Jackie's idea to find this name, the Montrose uh, name, from um, the Montrose Arts District of Houston, which is uh, where he happens to live. I hear the name Montrose and I immediately just think arts and, and fine arts and, and music. Uh, but it wasn't enough that it would only resonate with me. So then Martin shared with us that he lived on Montrose Street in Winnipeg when he was a, a young boy. And then finally, of course, I, I'm rather into uh, Bordeaux wine, and I remembered uh, well that Chateau Montrose is a, a very fine wine from uh, Saint Estephe. So it all came together very nicely, and we had uh, good reason to support the idea. Three reasons for a trio, which was very appropriate. Which is perfect, Montrose trio. Mm -hmm. 